Okay, so today I'm showing you how to use the custom fields feature in Trello. Now, this is only really available at a premium level. You can see here I have a premium free trial on this workspace right now. You don't want to get too excited about it during um, a free trial because if you get really dependent on it, then it's something that you may lose access to. Although something I've noticed with Trello is premium actions that I take while in a trial tend to stay available even after the trial is over. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of an experiment with this one. I'm curious to see if if I create some custom fields using the premium custom fields feature and then set up a test automation based off of one of those custom fields, does it still work after the trial is over? So this week I'm going to show you how it works and how you set it up and how you would set up an automation with a custom field. And then after these nine days are up, I'm going to go in and do a test and I'm going to post a follow-up video, um, maybe on my shorts, maybe on the main channel. So um, make sure that you're paying attention, but so you can come see if it actually still available because that's kind of cool. That would be an interesting hack here because any time that you create a new workspace, which workspaces are practically unlimited in Trello. I mean, I, I believe that there is a limit, but like as somebody who has quite a few, I could tell you it's not a low limit. <laughs> if you wanted to be able to use some of the premium features, you might be able to just create a new workspace, do the free trial, set up those premium features, and then let the free trial run out. I don't know. Let's see if it works, guys. So um, we're going to try it right here on one of my template boards. This is an example of one of the boards that I use to plan my content for YouTube, actually. Um, so when we go into one of the cards, we're going to do a couple of really simple custom fields. I mean, you can get a little bit, I don't want to say super fancy, because honestly, there are some power ups that actually create fields that can calculate and roll up data, which um, are fantastic, but you can't use them in automations, which is kind of a bummer. So um, we're going to test a couple of things here. Let's go ahead and use some of their suggested fields. So we're just going to go ahead and add this one. And then let's add a status. And then I'm going to add one more that I'm going to just call um, scheduled. Oops, I can type. And I'm going to make this a checkbox. And now, technically, this one is not super duper important because you could do the same thing with labels. and um, that's what I typically do on my boards. I use a label that I use as a scheduled label, and then I will base my automation off of that, right? When we do something like this, it can sometimes make things a little bit simpler, easier. So let's go ahead and do that. So in case you missed it, um, I went a little fast there. I just clicked on custom fields, add new field. I typed in the name of the field. I chose checkbox as the type, and then I want this to show up on the front of the card. And let's create a new card. Okay, so we see our um, fields here. Now we're gonna go in and set up a quick automation. It's just gonna be a manual one. So we're gonna say create rule, and I'm going to say, um, we're going to do this based on fields. Um, and we're going to say when custom fields, so it was a checkbox one. So I'm going to say when custom field scheduled, let's see if you could see that scheduled is checked. We're going to hit the plus sign and that's going to move that up as our trigger. And then I'm going to say move the card to the bottom of the list and we'll just say, um, scheduled recordings because I called it scheduled, right? And then we'll go ahead and hit the plus sign and you can see our action shows up here. I'm going to hit save. So now I'm going to come in here. We can see right here, this card is still on the approved ideas list. I'm going to check the scheduled box and we will watch 
you could see it happen over here and we watched right here that now we're on the scheduled recordings list and it actually did show up on the back of the card once it was checked so that's how you would utilize um, custom fields and uh, check back with me in about 10 days and let's see if this feature still works even when my free trial has run out.